Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. We are playing Subnautica Below Zero. Yeah, I'm actually going to finally do it. So, immediately I'll let you take a breather, look at the main menu. Uh, some polar caps, and then right here, the little penguins. But you'll be able to see more on that. I already started a game, apparently, a while ago. Let's start a new game. Survival. Yeah. I got some popcorn right, right next to me. The loading screen, the loading screen penguin is very cool. There we go. Finally, press any button to continue. This is the farthest that I can take you on company space bucks, Robin. You sure you want this? The research is in everything. It is to me and Sam. I need to know what happened. The meteor storm. I can use it for cover from Altera's eyes. <sighs> Gonna miss you, Robin. I'll find my way back. Unknown Worlds Entertainment presents Approaching 45 46 feet. Surface temperatures. Oh, good job. Fire. Very spicy. I can play the game now. Welcome to forty five forty six feet. Enjoy your stay. Whoa. Hey, a player. I don't want to collect the flares. Blueprint They're not as I, I I just don't like flares in general, honestly. For uh, these Subnautica games, they can distract some creatures, yeah. But I'm a pro. Don't worry, don't worry. Dude, there is a lot of meteors happening right now. Hey, is that the space station or my ship? Questions I should not be asking while looking up the sky. Gonna get hit or something. All right, I got some food. Whoa. Holy smokes. That did not go as planned. I should find a way into the water and get to the drop pod. Oh! Don't get too close. Welcome to the adventure mode, Xenoworker. You have arrived in the Arctic climate. Your greatest expedition begins. You're Xenomorph. Xeno work PDAs you monitor your temperature, vital signs. Since you downloaded the ammo Mac, it will also dispense advice from time to time. Uh, checklist, blah 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 blah. Locate survivors. High winds can result in hyperthermia. Inspector detours occur. We can't. Uh, layers. When in doubt, don't go out. All right, let's jump in. The meteors have stopped. Woo! Well, oh, look at this area. Hello, fishies. I don't know what that was about. New creature discovered. Hello, buddy. I'm gonna get your other friend right here. Okay, I'll get a snot. New creature discovered. Hoop fish. Hello, penguin. Oh. Yeah, I can show you guys. Look at this. Penguin. Look at this. He's mad. I got a penguin, baby. Ooh. 
Alright, there you go. Done messing around with the penguin, baby. Let's actually get into the game. <laughs> I thought they were attacking me in the water. That's why I was standing still a little bit. Look at that. Look at the paper. They have, like, weird tentacles compared to the other ones. And then the hoop fish is still the same. Ugly as usual. And then the bladder fish is the same. So here's my drop pod. Look at that. All my actually gives me a base. One thing I do need to grab is. Yoink. Ribbon plants contain electrolytic materials that can be used in energy storage. Oh, that's cool. Oxygen. I'm going here. Found the drop pod. All right. I want to offer my sincerest condolences on the passing of your sister. I got to know Sam better towards the end of my mandate with Altera on 4546B, when we were thrown together as base mates at Outpost Zero. She spoke often and fondly of you. I thought you should know it didn't sit right with me when Altera blamed Sam's death on negligence. The Samantha Ayu I met was many things. Kind, clever, devoted to her work, but never negligent. I wish I could offer you something more substantial, but my access to information has been cut off. You may be in a better position to look into things than I am. If you're able to, Delta Station was our HQ. They were in a big hurry to leave, and there might still be information to be found there. It has a big radio tower, impossible to miss. I hope you find the answers you seek. Lillian Bench. Lightning strike. Well, Sam, I guess I might as well gather some tools and resources before starting my search. Hope that radio tower is as easy to spot as Lil said. Under the shade. Um, look, our first peeper, our first hoop ship fish shift. I don't know why I was saying hoop shift. Should be able to use this. And our first water. So, I definitely want to make a scanner. Make a knife as well. My hands smell like popcorn. Ooh. I was a little nervous about dropping into an unknown area. But luckily, this biome seems to have an abundance of minerals I can use for tools and upgrades. I didn't want another situation like Byzantos 5. When Xena in goes the battery and type... No. I don't want another situation like being a you know an I was a little nervous about dropping into an unknown area, but luckily this biome seems to have an abundance of minerals I can use for tools and upgrades. I didn't want another situation like Byzantos Five. When Xenoworks dropped me off, there were barely any resources. I survived off the land for three months with just a knife, my lucky PDA, and some rope. I am still kind of proud of that though. All right, here's the. All right. In goes the battery and titanium. Now comes a scanner. Every xenobiologist's favorite tool. This planet has some fascinating uh. flora and fauna, and I can't wait to breathe. learn about them. This will also give me access to a greater tool set. I'm assuming Altera left behind tech that I can scan for blueprints. That should make surviving and exploring out here a bit easier. Don't worry, Sam. I haven't forgotten I'm here for you. But it can't hurt to do a little research on the side, right? I know you would have done the same. I will find out what happened to you. I promise. Creep vine. They're still the same ish looking. Monkey. Oxygen. All right. Yeah. Beep, 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 beep. Hello, monkey. Don't steal my stuff. Some of the wildlife down here is very the stuff. grabby. Give me my stuff. New blueprint synthesized. Yeah, give me these clusters. All right, now I can make the knife, and then with the knife I can go back here, cut down some creep vines, give me extra stuff. Like, ugh, it's, it feels so bad not having anything to swim with. 
But don't worry, we'll make it through. We'll make it through, guys. But yeah, this is Subnautica Below Zero. And it looks very crisp on my monitor right now. Don't know if it's because I got a new monitor. Ooh, what was that? Oh, okay, I thought I saw another uh, part for the sea glide. So, yep, yeah, let's do... Uh, Put that away. It feels like I got more inventory space, but it's definitely gonna change later. Yes. What is it called? Fins. My beloved. Noise. All right. Now, oh yeah, let me get rid of the. Come on. So I need two silver ore. I need some. Uh, I need to get the compass, basically. That's what I'm trying to say. So yeah, in this game, you got to worry about temperature as well. If you haven't already noticed. New blueprint synthesized. Oh, I was trying to do something in real life. Oxygen. Oxygen. Well, I'm at least able to swim faster. Can't stab it, but shove coral. So, yeah, you see, uh, table coral, I believe it's called ta table coral, whatever, from the first game where it was everywhere. In this game, it's not everywhere. You have to go find it. Um, that's why I came in here. Oxygen tank. Adding additional blueprints to your data bank. The standard oxygen tank can be upgraded for deluxe and VIP breathing. VIP breathing. <laughs> and I'm going to do the strat that other people do. Hold on. It is you bring two canisters of oxygen with you. Which is a big brain. Very smart. Very smart. Yes, indeed. I need some silver. I think I know where to go. But I can get actually these sea glides. I need one more. Hopefully I'm able to find one right now. Oh, hello, hoop fish. Let me scan you. I thought me picking... Oh, well, no. Me picking you up just says... Oh, you found a new creature. Coral bridge. Coral bridges are formed by rapidly growing coral polyps that exhibit which causes growth in response to stimuli or when touching a solid object. Coral grow in thick twisted patterns anchored onto rocks and other coral. The underside is uh, it's covered in barnacles uh, like blue colony of blue barnacles. So I'll read some of this stuff. Give me this. And this. Ribbon plane, uh, sulfuric acid, battery fabrication, de defense mechanisms to discourage fauna from eating the leaves of the ribbon plant when harvesting the plant. The core must not be compromised in order to avoid creating a chemical reaction. Hello, penguin. A luministic plant which grows in patches on the seabed. Me this or at least it seems like it's definitely easier to me to physically visibly see like copper coral I mean not copper coral what am I saying uh basically being able to see like the lime limestone croppings 
and be like, hey, there's, yeah, like, there's three right here. Super easy. I'm not going to worry about making them real quick. I'm pretty far from the base. All Terra supply cash nearby. Yep. Whoa. Yeah, so the weather can get a little crazy in this game. What's happening? Where am I? Oh! Oh, it's clearing up. Oh, that's pretty. How do I take a picture? Take a picture of the camera. Yeah. Another one. Another one bites the dust. But at least going in the water can help warm us up. What did I need to scan? Red wart. Wart, wart, wart. Whoa, whoa, whoa. A common plant adapted to many environments. The red wart is a staple part of the diet of many smaller herbivores. All right, let me go back to our race. Let me destroy some of these croppings. I thought I saw something right there. That grass, I thought it was like some sort of stuff. Is that something? Warning, 30 seconds of oxygen remaining. Then, yeah, I know I have the other canister, but I'm not gonna worry about Switching back and forth, forth, and blah 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 blah. Or actually, no, I will. It'll stop me from going up to air, getting air multiple times in a row. One thing I don't like about this area is that you can hear those like monster noises, monster screaming. You'll see what that is in a little while, like in ten minutes. No, I'm kidding. Bladderfish, fish. Oh, wow, 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 wow. I think for this episode, I'm not going to edit, really. Or maybe I will. Don't hold me accountable. There's a chance I will and a chance I won't. Uh, I must be, like, absolutely blind or something. Sea glide's got to be somewhere. Oh, right here. Yoink. Warning. 30 seconds of oxygen remaining. You're 30 sec seconds of oxygen. Me, 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 me. Maybe I'll edit. Maybe I won't edit. Who knows? We are now coming up almost to base, and I'm oxygen. low on oxygen. Yeah, 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 I know, I know, I know. Good. Cool. Now, this right here. Copper wire. That is why we get extra stuff for lubricant. Yeah. Absolutely delicious. The Glide is a personal transportation device used for high speed free diving. Contains a built in light and map. High speed free diving? Oh, wait, yeah, duh. I was thinking about airplanes, like jumping out of an airplane. And I'm just like, uh, what? Huh? Anything I feel like putting up? Not really. Maybe one drink, one water. And then some ribbon plants. Alright, let's see what the character does now. I don't know, I thought she would do a special animation. Now we actually have speed, so let's go to the emergency supply crate. And then maybe I'll call it quits there on the episode. 
I don't want this these episodes honestly to be too too long. But for the first episode, I don't mind making a little little, little bit um long. Mmm, what is this? Delicious. Um nom nom. Mm. Absolutely squizzed. Bunch of salt. Maybe I'll get some salt. And then we La di de la di do la di da. Warning. Thirty seconds of oxygen remaining. Here's a sea glide. Oh, that's a fragment. I already have a fragment. I already have the sleep sea glide in general. Oh, you can go to these and replenish your oxygen. And you'll be able to I'll read that in a little bit. Warning. 30 seconds of oxygen remaining. Eh, we'll read the sea monkey ness in a little bit. Oxygen's getting low. New creature discovered. Give me this. You're mine. Let's get our oxygen back Warning. up. Here Thirty we go. seconds of oxygen remaining. There is an egg. I'm not gonna worry about collecting eggs until later. All right, those things. So, let me read what that one thing. Sea monkey nests are large bowl-like structures made of packed sediment uh, and plant matter. The sea monkeys use the flat, wide tails to pack the materials and form the structure of the nest. Sea monkeys can naturally curious creatures often drawn to metallic materials. They gather the reinforced side of their nest. Look at this. Flap, flap, flap. He's flapping his little things. All right, we're good. I release you. I want to spinnerfish. Bizarre fish with star-like fins, which spin, generate propulsion, capable of high speed, slow wide turning circle like other small fish. They prey on seeds and grass. It's edible. What I should probably do right now? Save. Here's some eggs. I know what creature they are for. Oh, violence. Oh, wait. Right there. Here's some violent right here. They are tiny predators. I want to pick you up. I want to get you up. Arr. New creature Your discovered. mind. A, s a small fast predator which nests inside the hole of the titan hole fish over there. And defends them at all costs. They Oxygen. feed mostly on the overconfident predators which attack the titan. The titan hole fish. Expending huge energy reserves to move quickly and strike their targets. It dependent on additional warmth and oxygen from the titan hold fish. And oxygen? It doesn't breathe or something? Uh, like what? Like through gills? Lay their eggs inside the gills of the titan whole fish. The waste left behind is absorbed by the titan, consenting all the nutrients nutrients it needs to survive. Catch or neutralize to approach. Don't bite me. Titan whole fish. They're mad. They're mad. Give me your oxygen. A large docile, docile herbivore which emits oxygen and is defended by small aggressive symbiotes which accompany them. Slow, stupid, and delicious. Complex gills uh, line the inside of the hole, drawing cold water in, emitting warm, rich oxygen from which water in this place. It attracts symbiotes which makes the whole fish their home, ward off any life form, migrates to more or less at random, feeding from nutrients deposited by the symbiote. Symbiotes. The Titan whole fish has evolved entirely beyond basic survival mechanic mechanics. Like speed, intelligence, and hunting. Exists in a semi permanent state of unreflective calm. Swimming forward on impulse. Impulse. Fully trusting the complex ecosystem which supports it. Valuable oxygen source. 
if you can reach it. So we got this little dude, and then this bad guy. He's violent. Don't try to bite me. Flare, we don't want. We'll, we'll take the water. I'm telling you, Sammy, you Fred's see some the best weird things honestly. when you spend half your day in a sea truck. More vandalism? Was it the sea monkeys again? Mineral detective. I don't think so. Well, I can't shake the feeling. This planet is cursed. <laughs> There's no such thing as a curse. Yeah, you're probably right. That's nothing. You wouldn't want to hear about it anyway. Just a huge creature frozen in ice. What? Where? In a cave. Not far from your lab. And here's the extra weird part. As soon as I called it in, they closed off the area. Don't oh, want anyone they're back. in there. But ah! Sammy, I'm no biologist, ah! but I think there was something wrong with it. Its skin just seemed off. Alien. An alien on planet 4546B. No. I'm serious, Sam. Something ain't right. Wish I could show you, but I can't get back in there. You can't. But I might know how to. Whatever you're thinking, we never had this conversation. Eh. <sighs> Sulfur plants. We know how these work. Whoa. Violence. Oxygen. Oh. oh. I'll scan these later. Warning. 30 seconds of oxygen remaining. Give me silver. And then I'm going to end the episode. Oxygen. I know we have another thing, oxygen, but you know. Oh, and this. Violence. Supply cash. Alright, let me go all the way up and then I'll end the video here. But yeah, solid, like almost 30 minutes. Whoa. That fish can turn you frozen solid. Alright, so yeah, that's the end of the episode. Hopefully, you guys have a good day and, um,. That's pretty fun. We're about to get back into this game. And compared to the last game, the first Subnautica, this one has a lot of talking. And some people didn't like this one. I personally enjoyed both of them. They're both really nice. But the game's going to get a lot better once we I do certain stuff. So, yeah. See you guys. Peace out. Bye-bye.